Hi Yarn to Bees, Crochet B here with my official Crochet A Canada hat. Uh, Sandy and I are getting ready for the craft fairs tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to send a quick message thanking everybody for uh, the kind words about our little Odie. It's uh, a little rough around here, of course. Um, you know, she was a good dog. I had her for 15 years. And uh, Sandy's never really been a dog owner before she uh, she met me, so this is her first time ever experiencing having to go through this with a dog. And I think even she is uh, a little shocked at how much she loved that dog and how much this has really affected her. She's finding it really hard. Uh, I've been through this before. It's never easy. Um, you know, we've definitely shed some tears and... Uh, and things have been uh, been rough but uh, we'll get through it it's really nice to know there's so many people out there that uh, that cared about our little girl and uh, and we'll miss her I guess uh, the strangest thing is just how very quiet it is in the house we've both noticed that um, you know you didn't realize how much her breathing and her snoring was kind of like the uh, unofficial heartbeat of our home you know and now that we're not hearing it it's just you know, very quiet, like we go to bed and we don't hear anything at all because Bailey doesn't uh, breathe very loudly at all. So Sandy's been uh, hanging on to Bailey pretty much all day long. Uh, we, she had her in bed with us last night and she's taking her everywhere she goes. So, um, you know, it's all part of the process here. So um, we're in for... And for a rough time, uh, you know, Sandy gets her surgery on Thursday and uh, it's going to be tough on us. Uh, she's not going to be able to get around for several months and I have to work and I can't be home to uh, take care of her. And uh, unfortunately, we have no family close by or family that's able to really help us or friends really close by. So uh, we're feeling a little isolated that there's only the two of us, but we have each other and uh, that's something I will be there for her every step of the way as best I can and you know we'll get through it and we'll come out the other side so Sandy's gonna need a lot of moral support from the yarn bees in the coming months I'm sure she'll be videoing and chatting because she's gonna more or less be stuck on her bum for for quite a few months so I'll rely on you guys to try to keep her spirits up too and uh, we'll get through it I still haven't figured out how I'm going to cook turkey dinner for Christmas. Uh, but uh, I'm still kind of doing some research on whether I can uh, order from somewhere or put one in a crock pot or an instant pot or some way that I can figure it out. So it's going to be a bit of an education for the two of us. So anyway, we were really surprised. Not even, you know, barely an hour after we put the video out about Odie, we were up to almost 200 comments already so uh, I guess she had a lot of fans out there in the in the yarn community she was a great little dog um, I've had many dogs in my life but I think she was probably the smartest one like, really smart you could literally see the wheels turning and she had the most uh, beautiful expressive face almost human like I would she'd look at you and you'd almost be expecting her to speak like English to you any second. I always thought one day she would do it and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it happened but it I guess it never really did so uh, you know it was her time to go I think it was funny because in the last um, couple of days she had she came over and to my chair and wanted to come up on my lap which is something that um, she hasn't really done for quite a long time. She normally, she goes up, she wants up on Sandy's lap all the time. She made a point of uh, coming up on my lap and looking right in my face, almost as if she was, you know, trying to say to me that, you know, that, that this was the time that she was going to be going and that I had to, uh, to take care of mom. So uh, the last thing she did when the doc gave her the needle was uh, lick Sandy's face so I guess she gave mom one last kiss before she went so anyway uh, thanks for caring thanks for being here for us and we'll see you next time bye guys
Hi Yarnabees, it's me, Sandy. Um, I'm gonna do a vlog happy mail uh, acquisitions kind of thing all at once because I don't want to have to make another video. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm not up to it right now. As you all know, uh, we had a death in the family yesterday. Um, we had to say goodbye to our puppy, Odie, which was really hard. Um, I had a really bad day yesterday. Well, we both did. So, um, it's going to take us a little bit of time to get over that. Uh, and tomorrow we have our last craft fair to do. So, before my surgery. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, my room is a complete disaster at the moment. It's kind of Christmas central in here. I've got all my gifts and everything over on one side of the room. I've got my table is just a mess because I've been doing Christmas cards and gifts and it's just, oh, I can't find anything right now. <laughs> I can't even find my brain. My brain is just like gone. Um, before I get started, I want to tell you a little funny story. I needed the laugh, but man, I felt like an idiot. <laughs> um, we have a floor lamp that my dad, I got when my dad passed away and it's a beautiful wood lamp and <laughs> the plug-in on it went kaput right you could jiggle the wire and it would go on and off and so i thought ah oh, crap now i'm gonna have to what rewire the whole thing which i've never done in my life and um so i went to the home depot to find out you know what i needed and everything and he said well it's just at the plug that's the problem and I says yeah I think so and he says oh you don't have to replace the whole thing you just get this plug insert and you splice the wires and you wrap the wires around and Bob's your uncle sounded easy enough <laughs> um, not so much apparently when you've got a woman who is stressed out to the max and grieving and everything and her brain is not functioning properly bad things can happen so I'm sitting there with an exacto knife and this other little splicer thing that I had and I'm trying to splice the wires and I could not figure out for the life of me why I kept cutting through the wire Right, like I'd get it spliced and then a couple of the wires would come out and I'd be like, damn, and I'd have to cut it again. And I did that like three or four times. And I'm thinking, if I don't get this right, I'm gonna have a cord like this long to plug into the wall. So I decided to go to the hardware store again and say, you know, I need a, a new splicer because this one's not working. And so he said, okay, well, what are you doing? And I says, well, I'm trying to splice the wire, but these wires keep breaking and I just don't know why. He says, okay, well, this splicer should do the job. And I looked at it and I was going, but I don't understand because my cord has double wires on it, right? Because when you're looking at the wire, there's two um, sections to the wire. It's like a double wire, right? And he looks at me and I says, you can't fit both of those in there. And he tried really hard not to chuckle. And I was looking at his face and I went, uh oh, what's going on? He says, are you pulling the wires apart or are you keeping them together? I says, what you mean split it down the middle and pull them apart he says yeah I says no I'm not doing that <laughs> and then he started to chuckle and he says honey 
you have to take the exacto knife and split it down the middle so that you have both the sides of the wire and then you splice each side individually. Really? Oh, I felt like an idiot. I was just like, oh, well, that would make sense. <laughs> he says, I don't know how you were doing it, but now I understand why you were cutting the wires. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm just going to take my splicer and go home now. <laughs> so I left feeling like just a bimbo. Like I, I just, I was just like, oh my God, I've never done this before. Right. So <laughs> I just walked out of there with my tail between my legs going, oh God, this is terrible. So anyways, I did it. I, I spliced the wires. I wrapped it all around the way I was supposed to and plugged it in and it worked. <laughs> so yay me. <laughs> so anyways, I, I really needed that laugh today. I was laughing at myself, but you know, <laughs> laughter's laughter. And so anyway, I thought just I'd share that with you guys. <laughs> um, anyways, I put an order through to Furls and uh, I got my new hook, which I totally forgot to bring in. Crap. Hold on, blonde moment. Okay, so I put my order in the one one order, the one that um, George bought me for Christmas, and it's, whoops, do I have over here? It's this one. It's the um, my lighting sucks in here again because it's not nighttime yet, but it's the Streamline. I don't have as much cream in it as some of you do, but that's okay. So I got that one. That one's a size five, I think it is. No, size six. Then I just got, I, I loved it so much. I had to get more, right? <laughs> I'm turning into Veronica from Euro's Crocheting Gifts. <laughs> um, so I got this one. This one is, uh, the, the other one was cookie, I think, and this one's cream, no. What is this one? Um, I've got cream coming. I can't remember which one this is, but it's beautiful. And this is a size eight. And then I ordered two more. Um, one is called Andromeda. I haven't got it yet. And the other one is the cream from the Cookies and Cream. Uh, then I, I got this one as well. And this one is going to be going into... Oh, I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> This one's going to go into the 1,000 subscriber giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm starting to build my little stash for that. Um, this one is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And I believe... What the heck name is this? Can't remember I'll put it right here it's pretty it's really pretty it's um part of the the these ones are the streamline swirls and these are the just the streamline but it's that one um yeah and there's three different tones to it actually I think there's a fourth one coming out or they're getting rid of one. Maybe it's this one they're getting rid of. And then they're bringing in a new one, apparently. I think that's what Veronica was saying. So I'm putting that one in the box for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Then, you remember, I ordered these. 
they're um oops they are the um sorry guys my brain's just not working darning needle holder you take the cap off and you put your darning needles in it i got some more but these ones came and they were different they look like chess pieces <laughs> okay so here's the older here's the original one that i bought okay and then this one is like that so it's different but it's still it's still made out of wood or ceramic or whatever it is i think it's wood so i got a couple of those that i'm going to be putting into giveaways as well so i'm really excited about that um i also uh i finally finally uh, went to Michael's and they had the loops and thread colors um, yarn, but only in Victoria. They don't have it in Nanaimo, which really sucks because I went there today and they still don't have it. So this is the loops and threads colors and I got it in this color, which is rose pottery. And it's greens and oh beautiful 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 colors so what i did was i took two balls of that and i started making the bag o day cowl this yarn is heavy just the ball alone feels like it's weighted it's unreal so i started making it and it's it's actually it's really pretty and i really wish that the lighting was better but um, I haven't put the fringe on it yet. And what I did was I made the collar so it doesn't hang down. I made it um, so that it's a little bit tighter to the neck. So usually it hangs down, down here. So it's a little bit tighter to the neck. So. Because I noticed that a couple of people at the craft fairs were asking if I had ones that were a little bit tighter. So I decided to do it. And I actually really like it. I think I'm going to make them all like this. Uh, so I got to put the fringe on that still. But man, the weight is unreal. It's, I don't have my glasses in here, but there is, it's a medium four. And there is 200 grams, 464 meters in this. Uh, it's 507.44 yards. So there's a lot of a lot of um, yarn in here. Of course, I've got the middles all barfed out, but whatever. Um, it does have a halo on it, and I noticed it's. It's very similar to um, my favorite ice yarns, the rainbow yarns, but this has the halo on it. So it's, it's a bit difficult to frog. Uh, I take it out from the middle and this is what happens. I'm, it's catching on itself and whatnot, but that's okay. I think I can deal with that because it's a really beautiful yarn and it's just so, so cozy. <clears throat> okay. Now, I went to Michael's, today's the Black Friday sale, so I thought, well, what better way to make myself feel better than to go shopping, right? Mm. Eggnog latte. <laughs> so I got some latte cakes. They were on for $7.99 regular $11.99 for us in Canada. Um, this color is Mineral Vineyard. I have a couple of these already and I just absolutely love it because it's got a beautiful green in it. 
And then I got oh, another one of these. And this is the plum. It's just the solid purple color. And then I need one of those circle lights. Like I got for Lisa because man, the lighting in here is terrible. Oh, um, then I got, oops, this one is the elderberry. Um, <laughs> big bag. Uh, I think that was it for the latte cakes. Yeah. And then I got two of these Karen cakes, the big cakes. I haven't seen this color. And I thought, ooh, I have to get it. This is cherry compote. Isn't that pretty? So I got two of those. And I got, I, I used to use this all the time. It's Charisma. And the colorway is Northern Lights. There we go. So I got a couple of those. And I got two of these to go with it. This is also Charisma. And the colorway is Electric Blue. And I figured that these two would go really nice together oops, for um, a cowl and hat set. Because this color is already in here. Oh, no it isn't, but it's very close. So I got a few of those. And then I saw this, which I haven't seen before, but it's Impeccables. And the color way is indigo. It's almost like the jean color. And it came in a few different colors, but I really was drawn to this. And I thought, hmm, that'll make a nice cowl too. So, yeah, so that's all I bought. Yay! <laughs> so that made me feel a little better. And I went to the mailbox and I got this. Uh, I had gotten a message from, actually, was it, was it a message or did I watch her video? Rosalie from Yarn It Out. I think she shouted me out on a video and said that she was sending me a card. And I got it today. So there's a sticker on the back that says, Follow Your Dreams. And let's see. <laughs> I'm going to try not to cry. That's my mom's name. Yeah. <clears throat> Very beautiful card. And it says, warmest thoughts and best wishes for a joyful holiday season. This is my first Christmas card. <laughs> Says, wishing you and George the best holiday ever. Hope you hope you recover soon. Like I said, I don't have my glasses. Um, from your surgery, get plenty of rest and take it slow. Hugs, Rosalie. So, thank you so much, Rosalie. This means the world to me right now. Couldn't have come at a better time. Um, so I'm going to put that, ooh, put that up here with my other ones. Oh, there. <laughs> so 
So thank you so much, Rosalie. And I I wanted to do this with George and I might I might do another little segment with George. But uh, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you that sent us well wishes. Um, <clears throat> we got about 200 comments yesterday within an hour and a half of putting up that video. And the messages were, oh, so heartwarming. Promised I wouldn't cry. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you so much. It, it just, George was crying too when he was reading these messages. We were doing fine and we were constantly getting messages coming in and we'd pick up our phone or computer and we'd start reading them and then we just start crying again. And so, <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you so much. It, it means everything to us that you guys are there to help support us. Um, oh, I wanted to say thank you um, to Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie for her well wishes on her video. Oh, just... I, <laughs> it was... It was awful. <laughs> um, I briefly went on Sandy from Left is Right Crochets live yesterday. Just long enough to say hello. Um, and I really... At that point, I really needed to be there and uh, and just listen to everybody's chatter and um, get my mind off of things. So it really helped. So thank you, Sandy Sis. Uh, and what else? I think that's it for now. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably think of something again when I... I get off here. I don't know. I probably won't be doing another video until Monday. Uh, we're amping up. I'm getting my, we're leaving on Wednesday <coughs> for um, my surgery. We're going to be staying overnight in Victoria and I'll be videotaping down there too. So, um, I thought Bailey was here. Bailey, are you still here? Bailey! She's been by my side constantly. So is Bella. Oh, I guess she doesn't want to come and say hello. I think it's finally starting to hit her. I've had, I've took her everywhere I went today. So this is kind of the longest that I've left her alone. <laughs> So anyways, okay, I love you all. Thank you so much for for being there. Um, and thank you to my new subscribers for showing up. Um, it means a lot to me. I'm so sorry that you came in at this point where life is just going to hell for us. But um, it, it really means a lot that you guys are here. And I promise you that it will get better <laughs> once my surgery is done and I start healing. Hopefully I can get back to myself. Uh, okay. So I love you all. Thank you so much.